Electric vehicles are essentially rolling power generation plants. Making them feed the grid is part of a concept called DER, which is short for Distributed Energy Resources. It can actually happen, and I, I think it will happen. Energy analyst Doug Lewin explained how going small can fill a big need. And if all of these batteries and all of these garages and in all of these um, fleet vehicle parking lots all around the state are able to feed power back into the grid when we're at peak, we'll have greater reliability and lower costs. And yes, the technology is there today to be able to do that. Tesla owner Gabe Tag is interested in the idea, but he's not convinced that electric vehicles could adequately feed the grid. So I think if as a battery pack from my house with the solar system, going into my battery pack out to the city, that's no problem. I think with the car, it's a one way in. To have a one way out, it would, it would probably leave the thousands of Tesla owners or EV owners a, a little uneasy. Tag, who is a branch manager with North Point Bank, understands investing in the future is important. But he says if he contributes power to the grid, it has to be limited. And there's one other matter. Compensation would certainly help to execute that plan. Uh, if, if there's a real vision behind it that is really going to help people, I think that would probably be number one. Working out those details is part of a request for comment by the Public Utility Commission. The state agency also wants to know how DER can be applied to other things like energy efficient smart home appliances. The comment period ends on June the 15th. What we're looking at here is a PUC that is going, hey, these challenges are really difficult. This is an all hands on deck kind of thing.